Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 4. Last time we obtained the best weapons in the game for Sias. We also defeated the Dragon, or Dragon A, or something. And it left behind, if you look very carefully, it left behind this little blue floating window thing. So if you go up and take it, touch it rather, we get the blue charm. Very nice. Oh, we can use it to unlock doors with a blue seal. Very good. Okay, so now let's go this way. And fight a random battle, because why wouldn't I have to fight a random battle after a boss battle? Ugh. Okay, now to go forward, we need to go into that door, but I don't want to do that quite yet, because there's a couple other things that we can do on this floor before getting out of here. Now, the first thing we can do is we can check out this room here. If we go over here, nothing! And it's over here then. Aha! And we get a couple of power foods. Let's go ahead and use those. I believe I can use those on you. This. This is attack power. Thank you. And I believe the other item I can get is over here. Yep. And we get a couple of proteins. Very nice. Here. Now we want to go back this way because in this room, there's a there's a diary here, so we can actually save. And more importantly, we can heal up, and that's awesome. So this is a good place if you want to do some level grinding or item grinding. This is a good place to do that, because you have a free uh, resting point and a free point where you can save. And if you go in here, you get some light clothing. I don't really care about that, but it's there. And uh, we don't want to go that way quite yet. All right, let's get out of here. Now, once now we again, there's a little bit more we want to do. I don't want to go quite forward just yet. I'll go this way. I believe it's in here. Ah, yep. And in here we get some belladonna's. Very nice. Nothing. Nothing. All right. I think the other item that I'm looking for is I don't want to go down there quite. Yeah, there's a. Yeah, that door is sealed off. There's nothing we can do about that yet. But we can go up here. There's a chest for us. And we get some vitamins. Very nice. Okay. Well, that's all we that's all the treasures and items we can get in this area. So now what I want to do is go back this way. Go through this door right here. And if we go through this door, we reach a couple of elevators. And this is fantastic. So this is really, really, really great. Okay. So first thing we want to do is, now what we can do is we can go through and go revisit any of the previous floors that we have already gone to. So that's really cool. I'm glad that they give this for us. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go back up to the fifth floor. Now, since we have the blue charm, there's now a door that we can unlock that we weren't able to unlock before. You see how, there's a, that, see how that tile is on that door right there? What we can do is now is we can go around this way and over here, past where the guard was standing. Ooh. Now we can enter this room. Very nice. But before going down, if we open and check out this drawer, we get a defender, which I believe is a piece of armor for Urshan, but I don't think it's as strong as the chopper plate, if my memory serves me correctly. Cast barrier at the beginning of combat, so that can be useful. Uh, but I'm not going to be using chop, or I'm not going to be using urchin very much, except to cast fairy attack. So I don't even really care about that. All right, very good. And if we go down here, we get the dragon helm. I believe is the best piece of armor in the game, or the best helmet in the game for Ryu there. Yeah, helmet with the dragon design. The only thing I don't like about it is the speed decrease. So. Uh, and it's blessed. Uh, well, not necessarily. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna keep the speed boots on for now because uh, I just, I just like being able to. I like that agility boost. I think it's just so important um, for what we're trying to do here. But and I, you know, later on in the game when we use more agility, uh, I will. I'll give him the dragon helm a little bit later. But okay, very good. Now the next thing we want to do is let's see. Okay, let me make sure I'm doing this right here. Okay, 
So I jump down here. And if we open this chest, we get some firecrackers. Cool. We can open this door. Ooh. And there you are. Now we're back in this area, which uh, we couldn't get to before. So now what I need to do is make my way back up. Whoops. Yeah, so this is where the elevator would be for this floor. But what I need to do is you can make your way back up to the top floor. Um, in fact, that's what I need to do, just make my way back up to the top floor. So I'll go this way. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. And I believe it's through here. Here. Yeah, so you may recognize some of these areas from before. And this way, and back through here. And I believe, is this the elevator room? No, this is already the fourth floor. Just kidding. And it's back over here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And up here. And now we've made our way back up top to where the elevator is. But what I'm going to do now, now that I've had uh, the opportunity to get reset the elevator, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here now. And I am going to go to the Fairy Village. I'm going to... I'm going to go to the Fairy Village. I'm going to check off my different apprentices and just kind of see where the state of my character is. So I'm going to take all, care of all that off screen and then I'll meet you back over there once something exciting has happened. Okay, made it back here to the Fairy Village. So let's head over to the Fairy Village and let's see. I made it back to camp. And now we're going to head to the Fairy Village and see what's going on here. All right, let's take a look and see how everything's going here. Aha! And we got another fairy, very nice. Oh, good! And now I've got the maximum fairies I can get in the village. 20, 20 fairies, excellent. And you'll notice that we got a lot of notice, notices saying that the troops' levels have went up, and that's fantastic. That's exactly what I want to have happen. Whoops. You know, there's no one in that house because the inn is not being used. I guess, by the way, I'll show you. Oh, I guess the troops... There are barracks for the troops, but they're just out and about. They don't have any, uh, they don't have any, uh, people in them because they're all out and about, so it's fine. Okay, now my food's running a little bit low, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this fairy on hunting duty so that she can start um, getting some more food for us there. And I'm going to get this fairy right there. Very good. So now I'm going to have 12 fairies uh, in the barracks there, and then I'm going to have seven fairies hunting and one for conducting, and that's how we're going to sustain the rest of the fairy village. So this is going to be my final setup for the fairy village for, for the remainder of the game. Um, I might go through and um, occasionally come out and do some hunting so we can get some more food to the fairy village, because you can see the food starting to diminish a little bit, so that's why I've got one more person there. Um, but for the most part, that's going to be my setup for the fairy village for the rest of the game. Okay, so now what we want to do is, since we have 20 fairies, the maximum amount of fairies in the village, we can actually go get the final skill from, nope, we can actually get the final skill from Nomo. So let's go ahead and do that. Now let's see, um, Finn. When you have a lot of fairies in the fairy village also, if you're walking around on the world map, there's a better chance you'll run into random battle, or run into the food area there. Okay, let's just head upstairs. Talk to Nomo. No, it's fine, man. Yep, we're doing really good. And now we get Fairy Charge, another one of the best abilities in the game. Yeah, so it's another fairy attack. Um, I'll give that to, let's see, who's gonna, who am I really gonna, who's really gonna make use of that? Um, actually, it's probably gonna be Ryu, but I'll give it to Urshan for now. That's fine. Ain't yeah, no problem. Yep, I sure have. Of course I will. You know I will, because their success means my success. By the way, I'll show you, I, mean, I don't think I showed this earlier in the game, but if you look here on the right, uh, on people's statuses, you can kind of see where we're at as far as 
uh, fairies and encounters. So you need 500 encounters for Khan, but I only have 479. So I need to get uh, 21 more before he'll teach me the next skill. But I got the max number of fairies, fishing points, um, the max amount of damage I've done. Game points, I believe, is how many points I've earned in the various mini games that I've played. Don't really care about that at all. So there you are. Okay. Well, that's all I can do in the fairy village, so let's see what we're going to do next. Okay, one more thing I want to do before heading back to the castle is now that we have 30 hours of playtime, I can actually get a new skill from Momo. Let's go ahead and do that. Again, just for the sake of completion. And I will go ahead, and I will eventually show off every skill in the game, as I mentioned. Um, I'm, I'm going to go for complete completion here. I know I've missed out on that in a couple of my other LPs, but not this one. All right. About clip. Uh, is that like what you do with your hair? Or is that something you put in a gun, maybe? I mean, Momo was good with guns in Breath of Fire 3. And what clip does is it's actually not too bad. It uses agility as power, which is cool. So it could be good for someone like Nina. But she's going to be using magic, so I'm not going to use it. But it's... It could be useful. Uh-huh. This is true. Yeah, you were much better in Breath of Fire 3. There's no question about that. So, Okay. Well, since I can't get anything from Khan, um, there's not a whole lot else I can do right now. So I'm just going to head back to the castle and start getting some more of the best equipment in the game. Okay. We made it back here to the castle. And the, uh, the elevator is exactly where it was. So you can go do all of the business you need to out on the world map. And then you can just go right back here, which is really helpful. So now what we want to do is go back down to the first floor. And then we can use this other, other elevator here. And we can finally start to go to the bowels of the, of the castle there. And you can actually go all the way back up to the fifth floor, which is pretty useful, quite honestly. But okay. Now let's head to the first floor, or the, the first basement. And now let's explore this area. Yeah, there's a lot we can do here. So we want to make sure that we are able to... Yeah. No, we need a yellow charm. We can't just... Apparently we can't just climb over or under the rope. We actually have to get a charm to open that up, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. Okay. Now we want to go across this, is that right? Uh, let's see. Alright, but first we're going to face off some new enemies here. Gecko. Alright, so again, just use the same plan as before. A typhoon followed up by Sias. Be nice if Fire Blast actually works! I may just have to use physical attack with Ursula, actually, and then choose Typhoon. I think that'd be more effective, actually, now that I think about it. But, it actually, I could just use it using Triple Blow. That actually might end up being better now that I think about it. Wow, I didn't even finish him off. Wow. Ow! And the shield ability there. So, in fact, we're gonna, we're gonna try this out here. Uh, okay, does she have the... Yeah, okay, so she has that good. So yeah, let's just use triple blow. And then Nina used Typhoon and Size Attack. Let's see if see how this does. See how this works. Nope! That is definitely not better against these enemies. Eh. You live and you learn, I guess. Yo! Sia should finish this guy off. Cute! Okay, what? Well, that didn't work so well at all, but... Oh, well. Looks like we're going to gain a level for both Saiyas and Ryu. Very nice. Very good. Okay, so now what we want to do is head down these stairs right here. Okay, and through here. And I believe... Let's see here. Oh, yeah, it's down here. Okay. And over here. Yeah, this can be kind of tricky there. Yeah. We get three Aurums. Very nice. If I can get out of here, that'd be good. All right, we got a bunch of new enemies here. The Skullin, the Beal, and the Quizzit. 
Now, I believe that, uh, I believe we can actually get something from the Beal. Uh, let me double check in my notes, but I think we can steal something from the Beal. Yep, I thought I could steal something from the, from the Beal, so I definitely want to do that. So, let's start by charming the Beal. And the rest of us, we're going to work on taking out these guys here. So, you take out the, the um, you take out the Beal there, and Ursula, why don't you, actually, we're going to switch you over, oops, switch you back to the Electrifier. Oops. Go. And you take out the Skull there. Very good. Yeah, so once again, we're starting to get into the, the bowels here of the, of the dungeon. We can get some of the best equipment in the game, so really excited about that. Nice shot, Sias. Come on, Ursula. Oh! Nice. Bloom. You curse me now? Oh, I guess it makes him weak to holy attacks? Ugh. Fortunately, Blizzard is not a holy attack. There was a, a request to show off Holy Strike, and I'll, I'll do that here in a little bit um, once I've once I'm in a battle where I can actually do that. So, okay, now let's get uh, Pilfer going and Char er, and Steel and Sias. You just keep working on the enemies here, and hopefully I can steal the item that I want. Nope. Come on. Nope. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is just, again, just like normal, repeat this pattern. Very good. Well, this shouldn't work. Oh, it might kill Sias. I just thought about that. Oh, phew. Yeah, it didn't work. Very good. Okay. So I'm just going to keep stealing until I get the item that I want now. Ah, that's what I was looking for. The Ouroboros. Very nice. And that's the best weapon in the game for Nina. So very good. Okay, now I'm going to show you actually a little trick. Uh-oh, please don't work. Reuse uh, resistance to instant death is actually pretty good, so this shouldn't work. Until it does work. <laughs> this is my life, BCS Universe. This is my life. Okay. Well. All right, that's fine. Um, okay, well, I'll show it off next time. So let's go ahead and... Get Ryu back from the dead. Um, Sias, why don't you... I might still be able to make this work. Uh, yeah, why don't... Actually, why don't you... Yeah, screw it. You attack, and then Urshan use... Um, let's show off Fairy Charge. First, let's get Ryu back from the dead. Because I prefer my characters to be alive. Rather than dead. Thank you. There you go. And go, fairy charge. <laughs> okay. Well. I promise that's a better attack than that usually, but that did not so work so well at all. But yeah, so basically uh, the you have a bunch of fairies that go out and attack. But anyway, let's just finish this. <clears throat> Thank you. Very nice. And another level for Urshan, very good. Okay, so now what I want to do is go up here. And actually, let's start by equipping that. I need to equip that weapon on Nina, so let's do that. And what it does is, ooh, it has the same effect as Raise Dead. So that's pretty nice. So basically, I now have free... Uh, I have free healing. Or free... Uh, free uh, Raise from the Dead, so that's pretty cool. Okay, very good. Okay, and now we want to go... Let's see. Go up this way, or is it? Oh, it looks like a dead end. Well, damn it. Uh, oh, here we go. That's where I want to go. All right, very good. Okay, now we want to go this way. Okay, so let's keep following this path here. All right, 
we go up here, we get the Shaman's Ring. Now, this is an excellent accessory. Let me show you what this does. Yeah, reduces wearer's AP costs by 25%. And I was hoping I'd be able to get something like that. So now I'm going to give this to Nina because, I mean, the, way, the amount of AP she uses, she definitely needs that. I'm not so worried about Cupid's Liar now. Um, who does need to recover HP? Um, you know, Ursula could probably stand to recover HP. So I'm going to give her Cupid's Liar. Um, not increases her defense, but restores her HP, which she's fighting a lot. So that's good. Okay, very nice. All right. Let's head back this way now. Now we want to go this way. And raise the bridge. You raise me up. Okay, and now go down this way. And if we go in here, we get... Yeah, we get the yellow charm. Very nice. We can now unlock doors with a yellow seal. But yeah, but what can we do with this yellow seal and yellow doors? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my blog. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.